Changsha is one of the top 10 largest cities in China. Population of around 10 million. Changsha is known to be warriors. During the, all the wars internally amongst China, Changsha were known to be fighters. It was back in 93 when David Gotts came to Changsha with a team of men and women from the UK. The government here, Changsha Welfare Centre, decided, oh, we'd like to partner with, with David and ICC. From that, the development's been so huge. We're spread out in seven different locations within Changsha. In Trinyuan, uh, children there are most severely disabled kids, which is located in the welfare centre. We have four group homes, homes for life, and we have the lighthouse. It's a home for the younger children. Then the VTC, the, our vocation training centre. Also, we have the community outreach project, which has got potential to explode and expand throughout China. In Trinyuan is our high needs kids. They need constant therapy just because of their disabilities. It's 24 hour, seven day a week care. They're there until they pass away. So we, that we wanna be parents, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters to these kids. And we have the lighthouse. In that community where the lighthouse is, it really is a lighthouse and it stands out and it's bright. It's a home for the um, younger children. We also have um, classrooms, conductive ed. There is a vocation training centre in there, which in that community, there is um, three children that have a disability of their own, which we have welcomed into the doors during the day. It gives their parents the opportunity now to go find work, which enables them to support their child. 14 of the children go to outside school, that they go to uh, special have special education, which is also very exciting to be able to give the opportunity to these children to get an education. Later down the track, they'll move out into a smaller home, maybe find some work for them, but just give them a, a life full of joys. Group homes are homes for life. We purchased uh, four homes back in 04. They're family units where they can build relationships with each other and just grow as virtually brothers and sisters together. And it was set up for 10 children per home. The children who don't have any more education, they're older, so we're looking to give them more of a working schedule where they'd wake up in the mornings, go to work. So this is where the VTC, the, our vocation training centre, came about. That our older youth, they go there every day from Monday to Friday, where they would then make their jewellery, cards, computer graphics and design, where they design cups and uh, they print shirts that they can sell. They have computer lessons, uh, just basic computer studies so help them get used to typing because a lot of the children can't actually write then they also have the therapy department there community outreach project serves the people in the community they provide support to the families they'll do training for the parents on how to give therapy to their, their child we provide education for the children in the way of special education, conductive education. Also, we have um, therapy as well. It's a very new project within, within China. There's nobody else in China who are doing this sort of project. The government have seen a huge drop in the percentage of um, abandonments within, within Changsha. And the government are really thrilled about the, the project and have Come alongside us. At the moment we have two locations in Changsha, one in Shizhishan and also one in Kaifengchu, uh, where the government provide 50% of the running costs, they provide the location and also the equipment that we need. 
So we've assessed more than 300 families within the community. We're given free support. And sometimes a child may need surgery and then they go home, they see the, the changes in their child, the, the progress that they're making. They get really excited to see, wow, this is my child. She couldn't walk before and now she's, she's walking with a, with a frame. That then goes to one of their friends because they all network with each other. So now we're getting more people starting to, to come into our doors. and So it's really exciting. There is a real need for expansion and open up more centres. We're constantly getting calls from different cities. So in Changsha, we really want to model our centres as best as we can and hopefully it will rub off onto the, the government and they'll start replicating what we are doing here. ICC is in a, a great position, being so connected with the government. I think the relationship is really strong and there is that great need to help these children. After working with them for now nearly 11 years and working with a group of boys in the diamond room, now they're young adults working in different parts of China. They will take part of their finances, their wage, and are now sponsoring children. They want to put back into into the work that's happening here to help their brothers and sisters. So that's that's just exciting. It just it just moves me to see them um, just have a life.